Well done. So, <laughs> you know, anyway, I was about to say something. Anyway, um, the replacements. Now, I've been listening to a lot of people on YouTube who are concerned about the Mexicans or the Hispanics coming into America, stuff like that, you know, and uh, I somewhat agree with them because a lot of these Hispanics, they come here, they act as if they're better than black people, you know, they mistreat black folks with the same type of prejudice and stuff like that, you know, and some of them are, they're not better off than us, trust me. A lot of these Hispanic people are broke. I live around them here in New Jersey. They don't got no money. They don't have shit. A lot of them. They broke as, you know what I mean. But anyway, I'm hearing certain content creators on YouTube crying about, they're trying to replace us. They meaning white folks are trying to replace black people in particular, in particular are black Americans, with Hispanics. <laughs> Hence the reason a lot of people are saying, hey, vote for the Republicans because the Democrats are trying to replace black folks with Hispanic people. Now, when I hear that nonsense, it might be true. It might be true, but when I hear that nonsense, this is how I interpret that. I interpret that as a group of people saying, we're weak, we're dependent on black folks, and we love white folks, even though we, we complain about racism, we love them white folks, and we depend on them. <laughs> Listen, man. When I was in high school, I, I loved history. You know, history, chemistry, English, my three favorite subjects. And, um, and I did very well at every one of them too. Uh, in history, because we know history has been altered, you know, in the textbooks, but I learned that in Jamaica, the Chinese were there before black folks, which I don't believe, but that's what they told me, or that's what they told us in high school, and they said that the Chinese were replaced by black folks, by, sorry, the Chinese were replaced by black folks, where the, the English went to Africa to get the Africans because they were stronger, you know, and they could work in the sun because the, the Chinese could not work in the sun. They were weak, you know, very fickle, very feeble. They could not endure the sun and the hard work. So they replaced the Chinese with Africans. That's what I learned in high school. Now, what I didn't read in those books, I didn't read where the Chinese were complaining about being replaced by black folks. You know what those Chinese did? If that story is true. Those Chinese went through a lot. You know, at the hands of Europeans. And those Chinese, they worked. They had a plan. They worked. They worked together. And look at them now. They are at the table with superpowers in the world. To the point where America owes them money. China has nukes. They didn't complain about being replaced. They never did. But here, I'm hearing black people, some, not all, complaining on YouTube about being replaced. They're trying to replace us, folks. They're trying to replace us. Not knowing that they sound ridiculous by saying that I can hear panic in their voices
So as much as they make videos about racism, which racism is, you know, it's real. The unfairness, the the prejudice, stuff like that. But you still depend on white folks. Because that's what you're saying. You can't stand on your own two feet. Why would you care about being replaced if you don't adore these people who are trying to replace you? Again, you're showing that you're dependent on these people. And that's why I'm saying here that I agree with a lot of people I've heard on YouTube who say that the black community is finished. That's one of the reasons why I agree. There's no strength. There's no unity. There's no vision. There's none. How can you complain about being replaced? What are you talking about? It just shows you're not in a position to defend yourself. Nor defend for yourself to feed yourself you can't sustain yourself so that means that perpetually we are in submission to these white folks that reminds me of the stories we heard about some people on the plantation not wanting to leave Massa's house Remember when um, Malcolm X said, when he was talking about the house Negroes, if mass are sick, we sick. If the house is burning down, mass are, or house is burning down, because they don't want to leave from up under white folks. So I complain about the same people that you depend on. It's not making any sense. But what do I know? I'm a Jamaican. I'm an outsider. You know, I'm out, yo. Peace.